Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go again. One of the most cruelest things that can happen to a man or woman is for somebody that you think that is into you or interested in you or probably even love you, that you think that, and they don't. In fact, they are using you for your money. And not only that, they actually got a boyfriend or girlfriend or both, right? And they plotting on to take your life for life insurance. Let's begin with this story. So you get this older white male, right? And he's on the internet. I'm not going to put the domain that he was on, but he was out there looking for love, right? Now, I ain't, you know, I ain't here to talk down on online relationships and nothing like that because I know times has changed and people, you know, the internet is more convenient to, you know, to go on dates or whatever. Me, I'm married, so it doesn't even matter. But if I wasn't married, I would still prefer to do it the old school way where you meet up with the person and meet the person out in the world and, you know, get to know them like that. But, hey, this is my opinion. Anyway, so got this older white man. And he's on the internet. So he find this, you know, this all right looking white chick. She's in her early 30s. Now, he like 62. And... All the chicks that he's seeing that's his age, he's not attracted to. So he ain't even wasting his time. So he like, you know what? I ain't tripping. You know, I'm half the age of this girl and most of these women. So I'm just I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna write this chick, right? The girl about 31, 32 years old, right? So he writes her. And the the letter went like this. He said, Hey, my name is so and so. I'm this age, I'm a divorcee or divorcee, whatever that mean, whatever word that is when you're divorcing, you a man. Um, I got two kids, but they grown. I work here, I make X amount of money, and I'm interested in you. So a day would go by, and he would get a notification on his phone, and old girl actually writes him back and say, oh, Age ain't an age ain't nothing but a number. You're handsome to be 60 something years old. And I'll be honored. Matter of fact, I'm flattered that you even reached out to me. So he overjoyed. He like, okay, bet. Cool. Bet. Now, before I go on with this story, I have to give y'all this. I have to. Number one, I need for y'all to hit the like button. Number two. I got to go old school. When I say old school, I got to go to the ancient times with y'all. When God made Adam, and, well, when God made Adam, right, and he brought all the animals to Adam, and he had Adam to give them names, right? Eventually, Adam got sad. And why did he get sad? Because, you know, the lion had a mate, the tiger had a mate, the deer had a mate, the squirrels had a mate. All these animals had a partner. They had a mate, but there was nobody for him. And God knew this. So he caused Adam to go to sleep and he opened up the side of him and took out a rib and fashioned the woman to be his help me, to be his partner. And this is why the scriptures tells us that it's not good for a man to be alone. So when you got men and I'm going to get back to the story, I'm going to y'all chill out, man. I'm going to get to the story. But when you got a man or a woman out there that's lonely, that is, it, it, is, it feels terrible because that's not natural. If it wasn't so, God would have made it so, which is we all have somebody out there for us. They might not be what you're looking for. Like, we're not promised a beautiful husband or a beautiful wife. We're not promised none of that. Sometimes you women out there that be like, oh, I want this fine chisel six foot tall man that might not be for you you might got a four foot five man that's assigned to you so y'all better all right be miserable anyway so i say all that to say this it's not good for mankind to be 
alone. But sometimes, sometimes you got to see the warning signs. But let's continue with the story. So anyway, so he like, okay, um, what you doing tomorrow? And she was like, tomorrow, when, what you doing today? And he like, oh, okay, man. He like, well, shoot, um, I don't know, um, what city are you in? And she tell him what city they in, what she in. And he like, man, I'm in the same city too. So she like, okay, well, listen, this my number right here. Call me and call me now. So she sent the number to him and he called the number ASAP, right? So ring, 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 ring. Hello? Hey, this, um, so-and-so. Oh, hey, what's going on? So they talk to him and he like, listen, um, uh, I don't mean to be forward or anything, but, you know, can I take you to dinner, you know, because I just feel like we just got a strong connection, right? And she telling him everything that he want to hear, right? So she like, all right, bet. Um, and he say, so where you want to go? She like, well, um, let's go to Applebee's. He said, Applebee's? She said, yeah. He like, okay, cool. So she give him this address, but it's to a motel. So when he pull up, he like, okay. So he called, he like, yo, I'm here. And she come down, says she come out. And he said, you, you living here or something? She was like, okay, let's drive. We'll talk about it. So they get to drive and he like, she like, yeah, I was in a domestic violence relationship. And my boyfriend, you know, he was real abusive. And I'm kind of like on the run from him a little bit. And that's why I'm staying at the hotel. So, you know, he can't contact me or anything. And he like, wait, should I, is my life in danger? She was like, no, 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 no. He stayed two states over. He don't, he don't know that I'm here or anything. So he like, oh, oh, oh okay, I, I, I guess. So she like, you are a beautiful man. So he he instantly forget about what she just said about, you know, her ex trying, uh, being abusive and she running from him. He instantly like, OK, yeah, OK, she digging me. I'm cute. Right. So she just telling him, gassing him up, really telling him how fine he is. And, you know, he he got a gentle soul and this and that. So when they get the Applebee's. You know, they order their food, they order drinks. They just having a good old time. Now, when homeboy get liquor in the system, he get to telling his business. Now, y'all know how, y'all know how some white people. I ain't say all. I didn't say y'all, but let's keep it real. There's some white people that sit up there and tell you all they business. Come on, man. I, am I alone here? Am I right or wrong? But he telling it all. He telling all his business. In fact, he tells her. He got a million dollar life insurance policy policy on him, right? But his kids don't even mess with him. So he like, you know, if if I had a lady, I would, you know, I would if me and you get together, I'll put you on my on my policy, you know. You know, I ain't leaving my I ain't leaving nothing to my ungrateful kids. They don't even deal with me, man. So she like, oh, really? So he like, yeah. Now Keep in mind, y'all, I, I didn't tell y'all this, but this guy is, he retired, right? So he ain't got to go to work. Actually, all he really do is just watch the Twilight Zone and our um, Tales from the Crypt. And what's the other show he watched? Um, what is that called? Tales from the Crypt, Twilight Zone, and The Outer Limits. Yep, The Outer Limits. Y'all remember that show, The Outer Limits? But anyway... So that's all he really do to sit up at the house and be a couch potato. So we're going to fast forward for two months ahead, right? Now, they've been going out dang there every day with each other, right? They've been kicking and they've been going to the park hand in hand, right? You know, they, They've been going out to eat. She done moved in with homeboy and everything, right? Life is good. Everything seems perfect. He like, yo, I, I sometimes at nighttime, y'all, when they laying in a bed together and she sleep, he'd just be staring at her, just looking at her like, thank you, God, for giving me this woman. Thank you for answering my prayers. Thank you. Well, I'm sorry to tell y'all, 
that wasn't God that answered your prayers, homie. And well, this wouldn't be the Dante Show Network if, well, y'all know what it is. So the next day, right, they supposed to be going to Ohio. I'm not going to tell you where they from, okay? I done changed the names and everything on this one. Oh, I had to on this one. But let's just say they going to, to Ohio and they coming from Tennessee, right? <sighs> All right, here you go. So he's taking a bath, right, in the morning. It's like 8 o'clock. They need to be on a roll by 10 a.m., so it's 8 o'clock. He and they're taking a bath. Now, one thing I didn't tell y'all is that he always got this video camera, right? Y'all know the old school cassette video camera? He always got one of them. You know, he always recording his shows. Remember that, right? So, in his room, he has that, that tripod set up. And I know what some of y'all are thinking, like, oh, they might be recording they sell being freaky no they ain't got nothing to do he literally got this thing to record his shows problem is he didn't cut off the video thing for for whatever reason so the tape is rolling and this is how we are able to know what happened so in his bedroom he has a bathroom he got this jet jacuzzi tub built in the bathroom instead of a bathtub. That's what he got right there, right? So he in there that's relaxing, you know, getting his body loosened up for this road trip, right? So he's sitting there with his back towards the door. Baby girl emerged out of nowhere. And guess what she got in her hand? That's right, y'all. Let's take a guess. Well, now, my I guess it ain't really going to matter if I do a poll because y'all, I, I, I got to tell y'all anyway. This girl, this woman, has an iron, an iron in her hand, right? I ain't talking about no gun. I'm talking about the iron where you, you know, iron your clothes. She got, a, she got an iron in her hand. I, I got to be careful what I say because I don't want YouTube to flag this video. But let's just say this. She got this iron in her hand. And you know what? When you play baseball, yeah, she basically struck him with the iron. He instantly goes unconscious. And, well, he slides into the tub. Right? Now... After he slide into the tub, I don't know which one actually took him out. The autopsy didn't really say. I don't know that he drowned. Well, I don't know the blow to his head. I don't know which one did it, but one of them did it. Nevertheless, homeboy ain't with us no more. He done crossed over to the other side. Now, this is where things get real crazy. After she busts homeboy in his head, she leaves out of the bedroom, not knowing that she's been recorded. Keep that in mind. She leaves out the bedroom. About two minutes later, she comes back in there, but she's not alone. There's another person with her, this black dude. Guess what, y'all? This black dude is actually her boyfriend. And they do this. They have her make a profile on these dating websites and they set people up. This was the first time it was going to be for a lot of money for that insurance. So check out the play. So what they was going to do is stage the scene where he basically going to try to make it seem like, you know, dude came in there to get in the bathtub and he slipped and fell and, you know, cracked his head. Bam. So they set the scene up. They pull him out, lay him a certain way, and put blood, his own blood, like right here on the um, tub or whatever. 
and they set the play up. You know, she get ready to get her crocodile tears on, call the police. Oh, oh, my boyfriend. I just found my boyfriend. He, he on the floor. He, 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 I think he's dead. He ain't breathing. He ain't here. Right? Police come. She's inconsolable, right? So she, oh, she sold it. The way this girl, the, the way this girl was acting, you could have swore she was an actor. So she sold it to the police and just, just going through it, right? A couple days ago by, and um, the lawyer, you know, the insurance and all that stuff going on. And um, she want to hear from get homeboy buried fast, real fast, right? Because it's safe to say she the next of kin, like, they ain't even tell, they don't even know how to get in contact with the kids. You know what I'm saying? So they naturally, she just signing off on everything. She said, I want them cremated the whole nine, right? But the autopsy person, you know, as they doing the autopsy, they're like, you know, something ain't right here. They, the police support says that, you know, he, you know, he died this way, but this ain't adding up. Like, something ain't right here. The, these grooves on on homeboy head ain't matching up to no tub. Nah, this something something fishy here. So they let the cops know, like, yo, we gonna hold off on cremating um this guy, and we need y'all need to you know go go do some investigation. For the sake of time, y'all, I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this up, okay? But I'm gonna say this: let me know in the comment section because i could keep going this video could actually go on for to about 30 minutes but let me know in the comment section if y'all want me to actually stretch these stories out to the max which can be 30 minutes or 45 minutes or y'all good with about a 15 to 20 minute video let me know in the comment section all right so anyway oh and if y'all haven't Make sure y'all hit the like button. I ain't got to keep telling y'all this like y'all kids. Come on now, hit the like button. So anyway, the police do a thorough investigation. They bring her back in. They say, okay, so how did you find him again? And then her story started falling apart quickly, right? First she said, oh, I when I came in, uh, he was talking to me. Then I heard him fall and bam. And then, the, then the other story was I just walked in from outside and I found them there. It was just, it was just, a, it just wasn't making sense. And then finally, after about eight hours of interrogation, she finally cracked and just spilled the whole beans. Okay, listen. Okay, I hit him over the head with an iron to for the insurance money, right? So. The point of me telling y'all this story is to let y'all know that, number one, it is unnatural for a man or woman to not have a partner, to not have a spouse. So I get it. I get sometimes that bed get lonely. And I get it that a lot of us been hurt, been cheated on, been um, lied to and tricked. I get it. But nowadays here in 2024, where right is wrong and wrong is right, y'all got to be careful, man. Y'all got to be careful because there's a lot of people out here that ain't got it. There's a lot of people that's out here taking people's lives over money, right? And guess what? Do y'all think she got any of that million-dollar policy? Uh-uh. She got a nice, hard, comfortable bed. Let me say that again. She got a nice, hard, uncomfortable bed in a county jail. And now this woman has received 60 years in the penitentiary. But guess what? A homeboy dude, guess what they gave him? They gave him 20 years for accessory. I think they gave him 10 years for, you know, being involved. And, they, and I think they gave him another 10 for being black. Now hold that down. So, um... Yeah, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this video. 
And like I said, I ain't trying to talk down no online dating. It is what it is, but um, y'all need to screen people before y'all let them in y'all lives real quick, all right? Because some people call your friend and they ain't really your friend. Some people give you compliments, and as soon as you turn your back, they put a knife in your back. So y'all be careful out there. Hey ladies, listen up. If you are looking for some nice, comfortable, positive lady apparel, then look no further. Art Alterations is here for you. They have a wide range selection of apparel for women and kids. I'm gonna leave their link in the comment section to their website. Go check them out. Welcome to the Dante Show Network, where you get your daily fix of crazy stories presented to you by King Dante. Okay, YouTube family, we done reached 100K followers in two years. Now let's get to a million. If you want me to promote your business, your product, your social media channel, whether it's YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, OnlyFans, whatever it is, and you got a movie on Tubi, right? And you want me to promote that? All you have to do is text this number that's on the screen right there, all right? Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again.